Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do cos graphs. Now you would notice once you know how to do the drawing of the sin graph, the cos and the tan become very easy. If we're doing the following graph, again you need to know your standard values. If you remember your standard values for a cos graph, it was 1, 0, minus 1, 0, and 1. Let's take the following equation. y is equal to minus 2 cos theta. Now, just like how you had learned in the sin graph, the minus 2 affects the y, but we multiply by minus 2. So I'm going to multiply every 1 by minus 2. So we have 1 times minus 2 is minus 2, 0 times minus 2 is 0, minus 1 times minus 2 is positive 2. Then we have 0 times minus 2 is 0, and 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. If we need to draw now, when we are drawing, then the coordinates that we take is the original x, but the new calculated y. So our coordinates are 0 and minus 2 and then 90 and 0, 180 and 2, 270 and 0, and 360 and minus 2. And then it's simply a matter of joining the dots. Now remember, we had said that the minus, the minus changes the graph around. So while you standardly know a cos graph goes like this, the minus turns it around. And that's how come the graph you see is looking upside down. Let's take the next adjustment. y is equal to, let's say, cos theta plus 1. Now, you again need your standard values, but what is the adjustment? The adjustment now is I'm adding 1. So we have 1 plus 1, 0 plus 1, minus 1 plus 1, 0 plus 1, and 1 plus 1, giving us 2, 1, 0, 1 and 2. Which coordinates we take? The original x because we didn't do an adjustment to it and the new y that we have adjusted. What do we have? We have 0 and 2. And then we have 90 and 1. 180 and 0. 270 and 1. 360 and 2. And that is our graph. Now, if you were to, to answer questions like, what is the maximum? The maximum would be 2. What is the minimum? Remember, you're looking at the y value. The minimum would be 0. What is the amplitude? Maximum minus minimum divided by 2, which is equal to 1. Again, pay attention to the fact that the amplitude and the number in front happens to correspond. And then things like, what is the range? The lowest the lowest to the highest. So the range would be 0 to 2. These are common questions that are asked usually during, during deduction. So it's nice to observe them and answer them when you're asking to draw the graph. Thank you for watching.